The helicopters have had no trouble getting themselves airborne, but in worsening weather conditions, they've been unable to carry the launching platform for the planned concrete assault on the flow. It was a morning of mounting difficulties. Apparently the size of the channel has gotten narrower, which means that we've got to reconfigure how we're going to launch everything into the channel itself. Uh, in addition to that, we've got a wind shear condition off the mountain, which is going to make it very difficult for helicopters to operate. Um, as you can feel, it is freezing out here, and it's making it very difficult to do things. We're having to use gloves, which makes manipulation of uh, the, the rigging a lot more complicated. Still, they persevered with the greasing of the slipway for the concrete, getting themselves ready for the opportunity to act if and when the weather allows it. If it works, then this will have been an impressive operation, but it does seem very small scale when set against the size of the problem. On the other side of the mountain, just above the outskirts of Zafarana, the lava keeps on flowing whatever the weather. There is no sign that it's about to stop of its own accord. The need for human intervention is obvious. But again, the human effort seems dwarfed. A solitary mechanical digger makes a desultory attempt to keep the flow within designated boundaries. It's not exactly under control, but nobody's panicking yet. The Italian authorities are still hoping that they have time on their side. They say that this flow closest to the town is still not moving fast enough to pose any immediate threat. But for many townspeople, it's already far too close for comfort. My, my, my. This couple said they had never seen anything like it. It's the worst eruption for 200 years. At the very tip of the flow, it's obvious that some townspeople believe divine intervention is their only hope. For the moment, nothing else seems to be working. Justin Webb, BBC News, Zafarana, Sicily.